What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we are gonna jump right into the video. Man, Camaro's beautiful. I haven't driven it in a while. I actually drove the heck out of the Corvette yesterday. We're at like 476 miles. So close to hitting the break-in period. So we can actually have a little more fun with it. Old Red, big old beast of a truck over here. Man, she's been doing great. Ever since we replaced the coil packs, this thing has been running like a top. Fresh oil change, new coil packs. This old girl is a good truck. We gotta go get it detailed because honestly, I'm just too lazy to detail it myself. What is up with you? Damn. That red though, sexy. Let's see what else we got here. We got the, uh, we got the Crown Vic, the police car, and this, is the subject of today's video the cop car we got a few things we got to do today first and foremost i'm late <laughs> do you guys hear me say that in videos a lot that i'm late <laughs> this car has got to get down to my exhaust guy tim and a muffler fantastic dude he does great exhaust work I, I talked to him about this car yesterday he said man bring that bad boy in and we're going to hook it up for around 450 dollars you guys asked for it most of you like the video and most of you commented that you wanted this bad boy to have some aftermarket exhaust now we said straight pipe now the the, the question is what are we doing are we straight piping it we're gonna just throw some Flowmaster 40s on it what are we doing you're gonna have to stay tuned to to, <laughs> to find out what we're doing to this one this car we got to do a video on this in the near future because this thing i i don't even want to tell you what happened this car we got to do a video <laughs> on this one because uh, th this thing, wow. All right, so in this video today, we are going to get the exhaust done. We are going to get all the police riding off the car. We're going to get these little uh, numbers and the flag. We're going to get the number 75 off the roof. We that's the, that's the goal for today. The goal for today is to get all, sorry, shot the camera the wrong direction there. Get all of the, the riding off of this car so there's nothing but just black and white paint and the exhaust at that point we need to clean up the headlights and we need to send it down to mako to get a paint job so here's what we've decided to do uh, we are doing the exhaust today as i said we are painting the car all black a hundred percent i think i'm going to go with ford tuxedo black it's just a straight up beautiful beautiful black paint as far as the numbers, I was going to go with like Earnhardt or something. A lot of you comment. See, I listen to the comment section. I really do. And that should give you a hint as to what we're doing with the exhaust. A lot of you said that this number 75 is like this car's identity. It's like a social security number, a birth certificate or something. I found out who owned this car, you know, through the Altus Police Department. I found out. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm not going to give out his name. I don't know if he wants to be identified or not. But a YouTuber uh, actually used to work with the person on this car. It was a captain. Uh, of the Altus Police Department. So uh, I'm hoping in a future video we can actually get in touch with the captain, maybe go out there to Altus, do a video, get his reaction, maybe get, let, maybe get him out there driving it with his new paint job and everything, and, and maybe he can tell us a few stories about this car. But before all that happens, I want to put this car back together. And there's dents in the hood, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a few waves in the hood. I'm leaving it. There, there's got to be a story to that. Did, you know, is this where he, he leans someone over and is like, bam, put his head into the car? I don't know, but I'm leaving it because that's part of the, that's part of the car's character. As far as the smash doors, oh, we had to fix that. We had to fix that. But tuxedo black, we're doing the exhaust, getting all this stuff off, clean up the headlights and stuff. We got a few little things to take care of on the interior. Uh, put the door panels back on, seat belt, hooking the uh, pre-tensioner back up. Let's fire this bad boy up. Cold start. You guys want a cold start? Let's shut this off here. All right, cold start it is. Oh yeah. All right, let's do a let's do a clip of the exhaust from inside before. All right. Let's do a clip outside before. And now, let's get this bad boy down to the muffler shop. Let's see what they can make her sound like. 
All right, guys, we have made it to the best muffler shop over here, which is a a Muffler, right here on Douglas, right across from Tinker Air Force Base, right here in Midwest City. We got the Popo car over here because Tim, man, I love his Denali. Denali, did I say Denali? I love his Denali. <laughs> I love his Denali. There he is. Hold on. Tim is going to hook us up today after he's done with his lunch. We, we got here right... <laughs> and I know he eats lunch at 12. What do you got? You got Rallies? <laughs> what do you got for lunch? Uh, it smells pork, good. Pork loin <sighs> and chips and little Debbie's and iced tea and gum. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I brought you a cop car. Yeah, I thought I'd see that. Uh, is she in trouble? Have you got her in handcuffs or anything? <laughs> I, left, I left her outside last night, so that's what I do to all my cars when they're not good. I leave them parked outside in the in the elements. Yeah, kind of like your vet. Yeah. yeah, everybody's like, I can't believe you left your vet out in the ice storm. I'm like, I don't. Did, that did some trouble. Time out. I went out there, <laughs> got my truck, and going, is that still here? <laughs> I yeah, I left, I, left, I left it here last night. We went down the street and got some Taco Bell, and I came right back and got it. You left your vet here, yeah. Taco Bell. Yeah, I I really treat the vet bad. You just got <laughs> So I talked with him because he is the exhaust guy that we all come to over here in Midwest City. And he said, I know exactly what we need to do to it. But you're going to have to stay tuned because I'm going to leave it with him. I got to go pick my truck up from the Ford dealership and, and find out if they fixed it or if it's still broken. I did get a good, I did get good news yesterday. They said that they think it could be fixed for $8. No, what? Eight bucks. They think they can fix it for $8. And they called me today and said it's done. I said, well, put some fish oil in it. Some fish oil. They say give it 500 or 1,000 miles, and if it's still there, it's going to be $1,000 because that requires the whole. Yeah, yeah. But $1,000 really isn't bad because that's what Firestone is going to charge. And this is the dealer using OEM parts with yeah. doing it, yeah. you know, warranty, right. everything. So, yeah, we're going to go pick up the truck. I'm going to leave that with him, and then we're going to come back, and I will show you guys exactly what he did. And I think you guys are going to like it. Big shout out cool. to Tim at A&A Muffler. The phone number is backwards, but here you go. <laughs> Here's where they're at. They're right here across from Tinker on Douglas in Midwest City. Be sure to come over here if you need any exhaust work. I'm telling you, you're not going to find a better deal in Oklahoma City, period. All right. We got the new exhaust. There she is. Sorry, that's the factory exhaust. The new mufflers are way back here. <laughs> I forget what car I'm working on sometimes, guys. Ugh. Let's get down in here. There you go. There's the new mufflers. The Flowmasters, right there. I believe those are the Flowmaster 40 series, and we may we may change that later because it's not nearly as loud as I'd like. It's definitely louder than it used to be, but it's not as loud as I'd like it to be. So let's do an after clip right now. I hope you like the new exhaust. I think it sounds good. It's not overbearing. It's not too much. I think it just gives it a little more throaty sound. Like, vroom, vroom. I like it. It's not too much. But maybe down the road, I don't know. Maybe we'll go with something. I don't know. Maybe we'll go with cherry bombs or something. For right now, here's what we're working on. I told you in this video, our goal was to get the exhaust done, to get these stickers off so that we could, uh, you know, like legally drive the car around without the fear of going to jail. So I'm gonna, I've got this heat gun. And I'm gonna heat up these stickers and I'm gonna take my uh, plastic razor blade and I'm gonna try to just strip these stickers off. I mean, we are getting the car repainted anyway. So I guess it's not really that big of a deal. The car is missing a ton of paint. We probably could just peel this off. I do have some goof off, some goo gone, whatever you wanna call it. 
Yeah, this stuff is hot. I've got this. This is set on 700 and, uh, 750 degrees, so it's it's pretty warm. This should really help with peeling off these stickers, though. So I'm going to sit that down for now, take my plastic razor blade, get up under... Oh, look at that. Get up under there, and maybe we can just kind of peel it off. It's good and warm. Oh, it's taking the paint. I figured that was going to happen. It's just the way it is. It's always good to heat it up first. Yeah, this paint job just wasn't... Uh, it wasn't very good to begin with. But look how it just peels off, guys. Yeah, no goof off, no goo gone, none of that stuff. Just, uh, just a little bit of heat. And just like that, looky here. Now, the difference is the police badging on the other side of the car and on the back, look at that, almost in one sheet. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be different because it is like rotted. It's cracked and just completely rotted. So we'll get this off. And then we'll move over to the uh, the cracked, distorted, deteriorated uh, side and see if uh, we have any luck getting it off with this heat gun like we're over here. Because I'm ready to send this thing to Mako to get some paint. Yeah, look at that. It just peels right off, man. Just, ooh, it's a little warm. Done. Done and done. Got some goof off here just in case so i'm going to start with this as you can see it is cracked it's deteriorated and this is on plastic so i got to be real careful i don't want to heat it up so much that i damage the bumper or warp or distort the bumper 750 degrees is a lot of heat guys i'm just going to try to come in at an angle just pop those bad boys off what do you think? Comment below. You think it's going to come off easy? Or you think we're really going to have to get into it? I got a secondary solution. We'll try that, see how that works. Oh, well, that's not exactly... It's <laughs> not exactly what I was looking for. That's... I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's doing some good, but... Yeah, and it's pretty hot, too. I can feel the heat. <sighs> okay. And we're just going to end up scratching up the bumper. So I got another option. Let's try out the eraser wheel. All right. Round two, we're going to try this vinyl decal remover by Wonder Wheel. It's like six bucks, something like that. You just throw it on the end of your drill. And, I, I mean, I've seen Weird Beard on YouTube use it, and I was like, all right, this is cool. But I've never used one myself. Maximum 4,000 RPM. Uh, let's, let's see... Maybe I'll do it this way. I don't know. I've never used this before, guys. Let's see what, what happens. Oh, it's oh, it's spinning. Hold on. <laughs> That's not good. Maybe we should spin the drill the other way. <laughs> First time using it. Oh, wow. Man, okay, that's making pretty quick work of it. It's just, look how it's smearing it though, that's weird. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going. Whoa, easy there. We're getting it guys. Look at that. It's looking a lot better. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, when I send it for paint, they're going to have to sand it down anyway. But, I mean, anything that you can do to take away from the work that they're going to have to do to get it ready for paint is going to save you money in the end. So, you know, might as well just get her done. And this, this doesn't take a long time. It just takes a few minutes. Look at that. She's coming off. Look at that. So these little wheels are pretty awesome. 
I like it. What do you guys think? Comment below. Tell me what you think of the, the little racer wheel, man. Woo. All right. Uh, it looks like we, we scuffed up the paint just a hair. Not too much. And I'm sure all that would just buff right back out anyway. And if you really, really want to, I do have some, some goof off right here. We'll put that on there. Let that soak in for just a minute. Try to keep it from getting on the concrete because I don't know how it'll affect concrete but i know this stuff is supposed to be great for removing like sticky residue and you may find out you're just gonna have to use a combination you know a combination of a heat gun combination of a little scraper plastic scraper for paint and a, a little eraser wheel and some of your favorite you know removal product doesn't have to be goof off it can be whatever but goof off is what i decided to get just curious to see how this is uh oh it's it's looking pretty good I don't think the goof off is going to be able to get that off though, like that down there. I don't, I, I really don't think that's going to come off. I'll hit it again, let it soak a little bit longer and we'll, uh, we'll try to get that off again. We'll see how it does. So that's as good as it's going to get guys. There's a little bit of residue. They'll be able to get that off when they sand it down. We're going to also take these wires and clip them. They go to the siren that's still under there, but it looks trashy hanging out like that. So we're going to take care of that too. Um, next we're going to work on these big 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 numbers up here so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna i'm gonna heat this up this whole piece real good look at it just melting i want to really put some heat to her again we're still at 750 degrees and i want to heat it up like all the way down to about halfway and then hopefully you can just kind of peel this off a little at a time All right, what do you think? Let's give it a try with our uh, our little scraper. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Well. Just prepare for this to take you a little while. You know what I mean? This isn't, I don't think this is something you need to sit here and think you're gonna get done in 10 minutes or something. You're gonna, yeah, this stuff is, uh, it's real pliable, man. And it's, uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> let's heat up i think what i'll do is instead of working on such a large section let's work on this section right here you know just a little bit at a time heat it up and then just uh keep peeling away at it man it'll eventually come off you get it all right ladies and gentlemen it's been about an hour and a half and we are done take a look it actually came out really really well the letters came off Whew, i'm telling you i ended up not really using the eraser wheel except for on the number 75s on the front bumper everything else i found that if i used a combination of heat 700 degrees on that old rotten uh stickers decals and a razor blade it got most of it off and then the goof off got the residue off spray the goof off on use the razor blade to get all that excess like residue off spray goof off again wipe down with a rag and you end up with a product that looks just like this all of it the dial everything is gone so with that I'm gonna say that was a, su a successful job. You can see the number 75 on top is gone. But do keep in mind, I wanna put those numbers back. This car was important to somebody. Whoever, uh, I, I don't even know for sure it's real yet, but from the information I got, Captain Spooner with the Altus Police Department, this car must have been important to him. He took, he took exceptional care of it, and I wanna do the same. And I wanna, I wanna leave the damage like where maybe he slammed someone's face into the hood. I won't leave that. The hail damage. She got pelted with hail pretty good. I'm sure you could see that in the reflections. Lots of hail dings. That's okay. I'm going to leave that. Hail damage on the hood. I'm going to leave that. 
I just wanted to fix the wreck and bring her back to her former glory. It's going to be a beautiful car. I, I'm really debating on that tuxedo black or the black and white like it is now or I guess the black and the black and white here. I really kind of want to keep the car original. I'm just going to have to talk to uh talk to Mako and tell me what they think we should do, what the best route's going to be. Regardless, we're going to put the flags back on it. We're going to put the 75s back on it. And uh, we're not going to put police on it. In fact, I don't think we're going to put anything on it. We're just going to put the, the flags, the number 75. We'll see what happens. You guys know how indecisive I am. But comment below. Tell me what you think. This was a, this is quite a bit of, of work. Definitely required some effort. And, uh, man, I hope that uh, Captain Spooner with the Altus Police Department um, will be... We'll be interested in doing an interview in the future when I get this thing done, put back together, completed, and uh, I hope he likes what we do with it. I think we're doing some tasteful mods, not nothing too serious. We left all the cats on, and we just chopped off the old mufflers and put on some Flowmaster 40s to give it a little bit of an extra rumble. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with where this, uh, where this build is going right now. So comment below, tell me what you guys think of the 2009 Crown Vic. I think we've done a lot of good with it. It's a good car. I want to keep it on the road. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. The cop car is now legal to drive without all the police badges on it. We can, we can, we can actually start driving around without worrying about getting pulled over, possibly impersonating a police officer, going to jail, felony charges, things like that. Um, man, I'm really excited. But I got to go because I got to go pick up the truck. It's in service somewhere else. I got to go pick up a check from Bob Howard Chevrolet for a thousand bucks. And I've got like an hour and a half to get it all done in. So I really do appreciate all of you guys for watching. I mean, you are what makes this life possible. All these cars, all the fun that we have on here, you guys make it possible. So thank you so much for being part of the Auto Auction Rebuilds family, the AAR fam. I like that, AAR fam. We can do that. All right, leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the content, a big thumbs down if you didn't. Drop your comments down below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Auto Auction Rebuilds. Until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.